Well, twice in the past week, visitors to Winter Park have been injured in moose attacks. And those aren't the only encounters since springtime in May. A man was stomped on by a cow moose with two calves nearby in Steamboat Springs and a woman seriously injured by a cow moose near Glenwood Springs. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary live tonight in Summit County. And Jamie, people do say they're seeing more moose in the high country these days. Colorado Parks and Wildlife, Jim tells me here in Summit County, moose encounters are surprisingly low and they hope it stays that way, but that is not the case over in Grand County. Two within the last week and overall moose encounters are on the rise across the state. We spoke with the victim of the latest attack, Diane Israel. She says she's been hiking early mornings her entire life almost and has never experienced an encounter of any kind of animal on this level. She tortured me, she tried to kill me, and I laid in, on, the, on the ground and I just thought, you know, this is really a good way to die because I'm an animal lover. Diane Israel was certain the moose was going to kill her. She broke my back and she broke my arm and she just threw me around and I got up, which was stupid. I got up because I think I wanted to see if I was alive and she just attacked me again. She played dead for 10 minutes, which eventually seemed to work. She left and I guess I just decided to walk out of survival and go to the emergency room. The attack happened early Sunday morning near Vasquez Creek in Winter Park. While there are no calves nearby, the cow moose was still extremely aggressive. Moose don't really fear humans. There's nothing out there that's big enough to take them. So they don't feel that we're a threat to them. And if they don't feel threatened by us, they're more likely to challenge us. And the increase in recreationalists means encounters like this are more likely. I think we as human beings need to reevaluate how we're in the woods, what we're doing in the woods, and how we're relating to the animals that own the woods. Diane is headed for surgery, but is expected to make a full recovery. CPW says encounters like that most often happen when you're walking with your unleashed dog. And if that's the case, they say let the dog go and try and find the biggest object you can to put between yourself and the animal. Reporting live from the high country, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. Thank you, Jamie.